welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here it's nice to see you and if you are new here my name's Nikki and I am the host of this channel Macabre London now today we have a rarity on this channel it's time for a haul I don't usually do hauls but I thought this time in the sake of content I would do one now I've recently been on holiday to New York and I thought you'd probably want to see what I got I got some pretty cool stuff. Now if you're anything like me and you like beauty products then you know that going to America means one thing and one thing only and that's Sephora. Now I can spend hours and millions in Sephora but this time I was fairly reserved. I only got a few bits and bobs. I say a few bits and bobs, I still managed to spend quite a large amount of money. And here's your look. We were staying in Manhattan, um, we were like two streets away from the Empire State Building. Where we were staying did mean that we did walk past Sephora several times, um, but I managed to only go into the shop twice, which is pretty good out of a seven day holiday, I don't think that's too bad. So in this bag is all my goodies. Now I ended up spending such a healthy amount in there that they gave me a free bag, um, a pleather one. It's vegan leather. I don't know if you've ever had like materials like this before. I don't know what it is that they use on it, whether it's the fabric or whether it's whatever they use to glue it together, but it smells really strongly of fish. So I don't think it's vegan because it must have some kind of animal product in the glue to hold it together. But yeah, it's really fishy smelling. So um, I think if I plan to use this, I'm going to give it a wash beforehand because it's pretty stinky. The smelly smell that smells. Anchovies. First out of the bag of tricks is Brazilian bum bum cream. Now, despite its funny name, this stuff is absolutely amazing. Despite it having the name bum bum cream, um, it's actually a, a complete body moisturizer and it smells incredible. Boyaka, boyaka. Incredible. Um, that's why I love this stuff so much. You can now buy it in, uh, I think, like Selfridges and online in the UK now, but I tend to just buy it there because it's easy to do so. It's right on hand, don't have to order it in advance, don't have to go to a special shop. Now, this has got grana in it and caffeine, so it's meant to be quite good for making your skin nice and tight and plump. So that's why you're meant to use it on your bum bum, but I tend to use it all over because it just smells so good. And the fact that it smells so good leads me on to my next product. This is the Brazilian Crush Body Spray. I got this because it smells like bum bum cream, which doesn't sound like it smells very good, but as I said, it does smell really good. Um, it's really coconutty, really creamy smelling, caramelly, quite summery sort of smell. I picked one of those up just because it's nice to top up the, uh, the smell of the body cream sometimes when it's hanging around the day after. So yeah, that's reason why I got that one and also they've got another scent as well which is Coco Cabana and this one is quite coconutty it says on the back here on the fragrance note that it's coconut caramel praline marshmallow honey toasted vanilla latte so that's kind of gives you an idea of what it smells like now onto the skincare if you've ever been to a Sephora you'll know that they do lots of really good skincare products um, I am big into my skincare I'm gonna be doing a video on uh, my skincare routine and also uh, some bits and pieces that I've been having done to my skin recently Recently, which is uh, I'm actually not wearing any foundation whatsoever at the moment and I'm really pleased with how my skin's looking so I'll, I'll do a video about that soon. I'm a big fan of Dr. Jart who makes a lot of amazing skincare products. I discovered their products when I was in I think it might have been France when I was in Paris and I went into a Sephora there, fancied a face mask, picked one up off the shelf and it just happened to be a Dr. Jart's and um, I found it amazing, it was really good for my skin so I've always liked to stock up anytime I'm next to a Sephora. So I picked up three of the Dr. Jart's face masks. This one, the Soothing Hydra Solution Mask. These are a sheet mask. This one, this is the Dermask Intra Jet Wrinkleless Solution. Again, that's another sheet mask that you put on in two parts. And that's a gel mask, so it'll probably be quite weird and sticky when I put it on. And then also a clearing solution. Now I'm not a very spotty person, but every now and again, certain times of the month, it's good to have a clearing solution mask just to get rid of any potential acne that might be about to pop up. So um, I like those as well. I also picked up something from this brand. So this is Boschia, Boschia, Boschia. 
I've not heard of them before, but they had a small area in Sephora which was dedicated to their products. But this is meant to be a deeply hydrating mask. And again, this is another gel mask, so it'll be one of those ones that sticks to your skin rather than a uh, normal sheet mask, which is just like the paper. Moving on, I picked up this one, which is a mask from Tatcha. Now, um, everybody rants and raves about Tatcha and how good their skincare is. Now, I can't quite stretch to buying <laughs> some of their products uh, just on the off chance that I think that they're okay because everybody's skin is different sometimes you find that your skin just doesn't like certain products so I didn't want to spend out sort of 80 pounds on a skin cream to not really like it that much so I thought I would try out uh, one of their face masks and see if uh, that was good um, so this is just a luminous dewy skin mask it says here it's for normal to dry skin and this is just a normal sheet mask so I will try that out and fingers crossed I like it. Okay on to the next thing. So I picked up some of this. This is Good Dye Young hair dye. Now if any of you know Hayley from Paramore. Hey baby. This is her hair dye company. Now if any of you are aware of Hayley from Paramore, she has bright orange hair, all that used to be her kind of signature style was her bright orange hair. So I thought where better to buy an orange dye from than her hair colour brand. So I thought I would give this dye a go. Um, I'm going to use this fairly soon because mine definitely needs a top up because it's not the colour that it should be at the moment. It's kind of hanging on in there but it definitely needs to be brightened up so I'm going to give this a go um, and fingers crossed that's a good one too. Moving on, freebies. So Sephora, if you spend over a certain amount they will give you freebies. If it's your birthday then they will give you freebies as well. So it wasn't my birthday when we were away but I signed up to the Beauty Insider Club I think it's called whilst I was there and they gave me some freebies. I had this free sample of shampoo and conditioner by this brand. Never heard of them before but I will give those a go and see if they're any good. And then I also received, as my birthday gift, I could choose from uh, two items. I think one was another uh, Glam Glow stuff. And the last time I was in America, I got some freebies of Glam Glow. So I decided to go for some Kat Von D. Now, you won't find me buying Kat Von D because I now boycott her. Um, it's quite sad, really, because I used to love her products. Um, really enjoy them. I think the team that work with her are really nice ladies. I think the beauty club uh, and the makeup artists that she was choosing to work with were, or still does work with, um, seem like really cool ladies. Um, but I just, I can't, I can't stand behind somebody that's an anti-vaxxer. But the apology video that she did online didn't ring true with me and by that time I feel like the damage was already done so I don't support Kat Von D. So I thought if they were going to give me a freebie then I will go for a freebie but I'm not going to buy any of her products anymore. Which is a shame but what can you do? Well I know exactly what you can do, don't support an anti-vaxxer. <laughs> okay moving on to slightly happier subjects. Whilst we were wandering, we were walking home, well, I say walking home, walking back to the hotel one evening, and there were people handing out free face masks and hand masks and feet masks and things on the street, and that's from a brand called Absolute. They have shops in New York. I can't say that we went in and bought anything, but I was quite happy to take a free sample from them on the street. And this is a repair and care hand mask. I get really dry hands from time to time. I suffer with quite bad eczema during the winter. During the summer it's perfectly fine, so I'm going to hold on to this and use it when my hands really need it in the winter time. On to clothes. I love an absolute bargain, so I love going to the Goodwills, I like going to Buffalo Exchange, any vintage shops, all sorts of stuff like that. Anything where basically I can rummage through racks of clothing, find bargains, that's exactly what I want to do. There is no greater joy than finding something that is really cool that you can buy for like hardly any money at all. And particularly if you're buying it in a Goodwill as well, you know that your money is going back to people that really need it. So that's also a good thing as well. So you get a cool item and somebody else gets some of your money, which is really cool. Nice. Now I found these next three items in a Goodwill in Williamsburg. We'd been roaming around and shopping all day and then we were sort of wandering around some of the side streets 
and then stumbled across the Buffalo Exchange that was there. Now for those of you that don't know what Buffalo Exchange is, it's a second hand shop. You can sell your clothes to Buffalo Exchange and this means that they have quite a lot of new things in just from like last season. A lot of people what they tend to do is they'll buy stuff from Buffalo Exchange, wear it for a little while, take it back, exchange it, then you can get a credit note and you can buy more things. So it's a really good way to update your wardrobe. Um, and if I lived in New York, I definitely would use it all the time to update things because it's a really cool way to do it. Now in Buffalo Exchange, I always head straight for the men's t-shirts and that's because I love my band t-shirts. I love anything that's kind of a little bit weirder. In America, you get a lot of cool t-shirts because everywhere seems to sell their own t-shirts. So even everything from tattoo shops through to diners through to museums everywhere has their own brand t-shirt so you can pick up some really cool stuff now having said that i didn't find anything that was in that category this time but i did find some cool stuff still so the first t-shirt i found this was in the men's section now it hasn't got a brand in it so if any any of you recognize where this is from this is because the label's being cut out on the top there so yeah i've got no idea where it's from but it's this cool t-shirt the full front print yeah says metal on the bottom and i just thought that was really cool and i found that in the men's section and that was 13 dollars Next up, this one is by a brand called Naked Shirt. I don't know whether that's just the brand of t-shirt that it's been printed on, um, but this is a large t-shirt. Now, if you uh, are familiar with any sort of like American TV sitcoms, at some point uh, this t-shirt has popped up in it. So this is your classic tuxedo t-shirt. Now, I think these are just really cool. Um, I'm gonna distress this one up, so I'm gonna cut the sleeves off it make it a bit more my style um, I always like kind of bashing up t-shirts and um, this to me looks like it's brand new or has only been worn a couple of times and it was a grand total of five dollars so as I said there are bargains to be had in that there Buffalo Exchange now the last thing I got in Buffalo Exchange um, I am not a brand person in any way shape or form having said that I, have, I do own a pair of shoes by this brand um, just because they are so unique and cool. And I actually bought them last time I was in New York. Um, they are little yellow taxi shoes and that is by the brand Kate Spade. Just flicking through the racks in the ladies section and saw this jumper. Um, it's got everything that I like. So it's got a high neck to start with um, and it's got roughly shoulders um, and sort of a little cutout detail on the front there as well. So it has got all of the elements that I like. So I saw it, had a closer look at it, and I was like, oh, it's Kate Spade. Um, wonder how much it is. And um, yeah, grand total of $26. Now, um, if I can find how much it was originally online, I will let you know. But um, if any of you know how much Kate Spade stuff is, it is quite expensive. And I got this for a bargain, $26. So when the cooler weather rolls around again I will definitely be wearing that uh, quite a lot with like some nice high-waisted trousers or a cool little skirt and um, that'll be a good winter staple and again this is next to new I would say it's been worn a handful of times so plenty of wear left in that one whilst we were in New York we went to an exhibition called the Colour Factory which is an art exhibition that allows visitors to get involved in all sorts of different art installations that are relating to colour. We got to do everything from being in a disco through to hanging out in a hallway that was full of coloured walls, being in a giant blue ball pool and eating blue ice cream. So it was a really fun exhibition. So if you're planning to go to New York, I would definitely give that one a go because it was so much fun. I think it's only on for a short while still. Um, I know it was extended, so that was the reason we got to see it was because it was still extended because it was meant to be finished by the time we, we went, but it was still on. So it's, um, it's definitely worth going to if you're planning to go there. Now, at the end of the exhibition, they give you a freebie. They feed you all the way around, so you get plenty of sweets and snacks and all sorts of stuff um, but at the end they give you a freebie so I opted to go for this pin badge which is a white whale and it's by Christian Robinson um, who I think did one of the exhibitions in there um, but that's a cool little gift that they gave you so that will go on one of my jackets 
Um, but yeah, I think he's really sweet, really pleased with that. Now, the last load of stuff that I have to show you, technically I didn't get whilst I was in New York, but I did order it from New York. Now, the last time I went there, we stumbled across a shop called Scumbags and Superstars um, that was just on the other side of the Williamsburg Bridge, just on the edge of the East Village. Um, and it was this really cool shop that had t-shirts, it had battle jackets, it had patches, pins, all sorts of stuff um, and there was a really cool guy in there, really cool guy working in there called Worm who we ended up talking to for ages um, and we bought a few bits and bobs whilst we were there last time um, but we really wanted to go back this time and when I googled the shop unfortunately it's closed down in its location but it's still online so I ordered some stuff before we went away and then it turned up by the time we come back so um, I would have gone into the shop and bought all of these things anyway so it just kind of seemed right to show you these. So I bought a few different patches from there. So we've got a zombie Michael Jackson, a Freddy Krueger, you can link those two however you want. These kind of cool ones, I've never seen anything like this before but they're sort of uh, a bit kind of pulp horror books, that's kind of what it reminded me of. These sorts of things, really really cool looking patches. This one and then also a couple of little pins. So we've got this one here which I'm not really sure what it's meant to be, it's somebody flipping the bird and some kind of monster face but I just thought it was really unique. Uh, it's kind of like a like a cat thing but yeah I don't know if you know if that's from something then do tell me but I just thought it looked really cool <laughs> and I also got this pin as well so this kind of reminded me a bit of uh, like gremlins and like kind of 80s sort of those toys what were they called they were like teddies that looked a bit like they were kind of like they're called scare bears <laughs> Something like that, like those 80s kind of toys just reminded me of that so I thought it would be cool to get them. I also bought a t-shirt from there as well so I will put the picture here because it is currently in the wash. There we go, that is from the brand Scumbags and Superstars so I highly recommend that you check them out if you're into your pins and patches they are somewhere that you can get really cool unique bits and bobs so I suggest you do it. Okay so that is it for my haul from New York. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you in another video. If you're new here and you haven't yet subscribed please do so. Um, I don't tend to do hauls that often but it's Halloween coming up in a few months so maybe there might be some more. Okay I love you guys. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye just finished filming and I realised there was one thing that I missed and I can't believe that I missed it. Um, I bought a t-shirt from Nathan's Hot Dogs. Now Nathan's Hot Dogs is a hot dog stand on Coney Island. I think it's like the first hot dog stand or one of the first hot dog stands but they do amazing hot dogs, amazing cheese fries which are like roast potatoes with cheese on them. They are incredible and probably my favourite thing that we ate I think in New York this time but because it is so iconic and it is to do with Coney Island which is quite a touristy town I wanted to get your typical touristy t-shirt so we went into the official Nathan's hot dog shop whilst we were there and bought myself a Nathan's t-shirt. This kind of kitschy Americana yellow just super cool iconic t-shirt and there it's got the nathan's coney island on it so i can't believe i almost forgot that and that's the label in it so you can tell that it's official nathan's merchandise there we go i promise this video is actually done now as i said love you see you again soon take care have a good day subscribe if you haven't already i'll stop pointing and shouting at you now i'll stop pointing and shouting at you now oh my god this bracelet i got this bracelet this is the never ending haul video as you can tell. I also got this bracelet. We were walking to walk into the Flatiron one day. I think we were get, heading off to do some shopping, <laughs> ironically. Oh no, no, I think it might have been the day that we were leaving actually. So we were just kind of spending our last day trying to spend our money, trying to get things done um, and get ready to go home. And we walked past this jewelry shop and I saw this bracelet in the window. And I was like, oh, I bet it's really expensive. And it turned out to be $4. So I bought this one and also a pink one as well. So it's just a, uh, a snap closure bracelet. I don't know how long it'll last. It is cheap as chips. But yeah, I absolutely love it. I thought it looked super expensive, but it's not, which is good because I'm super cheap. Right, now 
I am actually going this time. See you again soon. Bye bye.